Hey everyone, how's it going? We're here on this new map, Sacred Valley, and I'm just going to show you around. And so this is more or less for educational purposes. So I'm sorry if my commentary is not up to up to spec. I haven't seen this map before, so let's before we get moving here, let's just take a close look at the mini map. If you don't know, you can increase and decrease the size with the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. That should be to the left side of your backspace, and you can see it looks a little bit different. Looks like we've got cliffs all around us. Uh, which kind of compacts it a bit. Actually, you can see there. I'll leave it a little bit bigger so we can see. Looks like there might be a good area for artillery back here, possibly. Uh, let's go take a look. It's not too much for cover, although hiding behind this hill would definitely give you some cover, since tanks can't really see through solid, solid objects such as hills. Uh, that goes for buildings too, but with how the game works, oops, hit a bump. With how the game works, you have to have a clear sight of view uh, on the tank to spot it, on an enemy tank. Uh, let's go right to start with. We'll start with this path. I'm going to try to drive everywhere. Probably be a few places I'll miss, but oh uh, well, not too big of a deal, I guess. Uh, I'll try to give some of my opinions too, but anyway, so you have to have a line of sight on a tank, on some part of the tank to spot it. And that works both ways. And if somebody shoots, then all the bushes within, I think, 15 meters of the player get flattened out for, I think, 15 more seconds. I could be wrong there. Let's look at the view. Did that, that camera just kind of... The camera, how the camera's moving looks a little different. Oh yeah, they said there was something different with... Moving while in sniper mode? I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the only new map this this patch. Looks like it's the only new tank. Although oh actually artillery. There's some new ones there. I may or may not put out a new video for those. Uh, I intended to put out a new tanks video for the last patch, but I never got around to it. it just happened to be around exam time. And yeah. Oh and as I was talking about moments ago. Ooh, I can see somebody getting tracked there at some point. Oh yeah, the guns sound are different. I know they reworked a bunch of sounds. Let's we'll keep working around this side here. Uh, take note of which buildings are destructible and which ones aren't. Oh, that one is. I figured this one wouldn't be. Oops. Although that stone ledge there makes it difficult for a little tank like this to get over. Oh, I thought I was going to drive right through it for a second. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, as I was saying a minute ago, with how tank detection works, unless you're within 100 meters of the other player, so that could be true if you're on the opposing side of a building from an enemy player, you won't spot them. And it does seem at times that it's a little bit off, but that's because, you know, I think it's just it's oversensitive at times and undersensitive at others. So artillery, you could hide back there. That camera, yeah, it's, the camera's definitely moving different when I stop. And I imagine these buildings are destructible. Yep. And what about down here? Let's take a detour. Oh, this is an intended path. Okay, I thought it was just going to be a little hole. Hmm. I feel like my tank doesn't look like it's blending with the ground that well. Oh well. Okay, okay. Interesting. We'll double back on where we came from. Just up here. So yeah, the only new tanks added in this patch is artillery. Artillery has been changed around. Uh, so the way that's going to affect things... Ooh, bridge. The way that's going to affect things is... Well, if you don't already know, Tier 10 artillery has been added. Uh, now, Tier 8 artillery is supposedly moved from Tier 8 to Tier 10. Oh, look at my tracks. There's a bit of clipping on this bridge. Clipping so my tracks go inside the bridge. <laughs> oh well. Uh, small details. So I, I looked at the Hummel, which is the tank I have, as well as the, the grill. I think that's how you pronounce it. That that 
the barbecue tank. A uh, barbecue SPG. Uh, I'm just looking around. And they do so much more damage now. I think I think the, the Hummel does something like 800 to 1100 damage now. It's been moved from a tier 5 to a tier 6. The, the, the grill, the, the barbecue tank, has had the same idea. It's been moved from tier 4 to tier 5. Um, they've adjusted how detection on a lot of tanks works. So, can I climb this rock? I can. Small, small mines. Small mines. Small things. Hooray! <laughs> So it, it sounds like tank destroyers are going to be spotted. It's going to be a little more difficult to spot tank destroyers. Their camouflage is going to be better. And trees and bushes are now going to offer less camouflage in general for, for anything. Oh, through the buildings. Let's take a look at this city here. So before I level the whole thing... Let's let's imagine how we would be getting into the city from the beginning of a battle. So if we were on this side, we would be coming through here. Oh, tank destroyer could hide up on here if we were defending on this hill in the bushes. Um, so if we were leaving our base and going to the town, we'd probably just barrel, barrel right through here, maybe over to there. Uh, who knows what the, the tactic will end up being. I'm sure everybody would just follow everybody for the first few times in this map before they develop their own, own tactics. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> and there's not really anything... That's a destructible building, isn't it? Yeah, there's not really any buildings that are solid. What about this one? Okay, that one's solid. So that's... This is about the middle. This is, I guess, roughly where tanks will be meeting. They'll be coming out into this opening that people won't like to do. Uh, it'd probably be smart to go between these walls, especially if you're a smaller tank. You can almost hide here. Like if somebody over the center side of the wall, say, like right here, where my cursor's pointing, shooting at me, that's going to be hard for him to hit. Just, just the top of my turret showing. But if you're a big tank, then higher tier tank, then yeah, you're not hiding anywhere in here. Yeah, they've made some improvements to sounds. I kind of covered that. Uh, it, the echo on gunfire. I think they increased that. They increased. I think they added an echo for random noises like this. I got a tank. Whoops! Barrels through something or goes over rough ground. Uh, they adjusted those sound levels too. You know, stuff like that. I'll, I'll put a link in the description for all the changes. Whee! <laughs> Jumps are fun, even the little ones. Oh, and now if you track an enemy, and then your team does damage to it or kills it, you get experience points for that. So it's no longer just a wasted shot where you get very little experience and not enough credits to even pay for that shell. So that's that's great, I think. So if you're on this side, assuming you push down the middle, we'll see what the, the smart thing to do becomes. First off, can anything climb this hill? It looks like probably just light tanks can, unless there's an, a low side on the other. Come up here, a destructible building. And guys, if you want to check out the test server on here, uh, well, when you log on to the test server, which the qualifications for such things are pretty simple, uh, you get 100 million gold, I think it is. No, not 100 million gold, 100 million credits, 100 million experience, bunch of gold uh, and that's on the test server only so if you go back to the other server you'll your regular server so the North American Russian whatever one you normally play on um, you don't get that progress carried over or that all those credits and whatnot but um, let's just knock down this tree so we have a better view I mean, you could spot a lot of tanks from up here hmm. if you're a scout maybe it'd be smart to sit at your base for first 30 seconds of a battle, then run up here and down the side, then go flank and scout for... go take out some artillery. But yeah, yeah. With, the, with how the test server works, if you guys want to, you know, maybe your, your tie is tier 10 because it's tier 3, and you want to go try out some of the tier 10s, 
or, or whatever, you can go do that. You can go probably research and buy all of the tanks that still have credits and experience left over. Maybe not enough gold for garage slots, but um, you can only sell five tanks a day, so that kind of narrows it down. I wish there was a little more artillery cover on this map, but otherwise... Oh, uh oh Oh, I like it. <laughs> I'm one of those people that don't really like artillery. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, this is the only map in this one, so... We'll get this over with. Until next time, guys. See you later. Have a good one. Ooh, new tank destruction sounds. <laughs>